I've got a riddle for you. What is not one and not two? I am by myself, but I am not alone. Sitting on my glorious throne. Pull up a seat. Let's have some fun. Let's see what the church nephews have done. Can you see what I see? Can you see the mystery? Three, not two or one. Hmm. Where else can I run? What an exciting game to play. It's theological Russian roulette. Playing with my eternity. The ever elusive mystery. Jesus and the apostles don't teach it. But I don't see why I can't preach it. The church nephews couldn't have deceived me. Not possible. Won't you believe me? Watch me try and prove my case to show you that God really does have a face. I know the Bible says God is invisible, but that's only because he's divisible. As three persons, you see, God died on a tree. God became a baby. Don't even say maybe. God was like you and me, but not. He was fully man and fully God. Please listen to me as I speak. A lot of scriptures I will have to tweak. Divine simplicity and perichoresis. I've got so many terms, it's like writing a thesis. The one and the many, hypostatic union, will keep you so busy, you'll forget communion. But in the end, it's a lot more fun than believe in simplicity that God is one person.